I've only got two things I'm going to say to you. Um, that at that same night at Kincaid's, um, I don't know if you remember this because it was a long <laughs> night, but I remember it. We were just sitting next to each other just randomly, and Sam looked at me. And unannounced, he said, I love Kara deeper than I can express in my words. My love is so core, I can't explain it. And it was such a beautiful statement that you were telling a future father-in-law how much you love my daughter. And I knew at that point that Kara was going to be in just awesome hands. That was a, a moment for me I'll never forget. And we're here to celebrate and to witness the joining of Kara Helen Yeager and Samuel Montgomery Helene in holy marriage. And this concept is more than a concept now to Sam and Kara. This idea, as beautiful as it sounds, is more than just an idea to them. Now these truths of the sacred joy of this moment are truths deeply felt, a deep reality for them in this day. Kara, Sam is willing. Before I ever met you, I knew something about you. And it was this. You're the only woman Sam has ever loved. I can't get that out myself. <laughs> You are. I know this because, I'll say it this way, when there was a pause in your relationship, I had the privilege of meeting with Sam to talk about how things were going in his life, and you were all he talked about. And it wasn't just his words of love he expressed. It was his voice that told me. I don't know who this woman is, but she has this man's heart. You do, and you always will. It's now with great joy that I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Kara Helene. to see a show of hands on how many people have gone to a welcome party before a wedding and gotten kicked out by the police. Anybody? That's a sign of a good start to a marriage. You guys rock and roll. We may get kicked out here at night too, so we go two for two, you guys. You truly are a dynamic duo. And really, all that remains for me to say is... Raise your glass to Mr. and Mrs. 